Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So, with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. Holy Spirit. So you could be seeing the angel number 11 a lot. So you could be seeing the number 11 a lot. Um, the number 11 uh, represents uh, awaken or awakening here. An awakened in individual. Um, November could be significant for somebody. Something could happen in the next uh, 11 days, 11 months, 11 weeks. You could also be seeing a uh, triple zero as well. So you could be seeing a lot of zeros, a lot of signs and symbols that have zeros in them or 11 in them. Uh, this triple zero, 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 zero is all about new beginnings. So let's look and see um, what these angel numbers um, mean. 11,000 could be significant. So something about 11,000. Let's see. The number 11. The number 11 says align your values with your goals. This is a reminder that you are a powerful cosmic being capable of incredible growth and vibrancy. Are you living a purposeful life? Are your actions in alignment with your higher self? Never forget, you alone hold the keys to your future. So whoever's resonating with this message, you're just being reminded that you are a powerful cosmic being capable of incredible growth and vibrancy. Um, you're being, you know, told to discover, to continue to discover your true self. Um, Whoever this message is for, you could literally be going through a spiritual a spiritual awakening within yourself here. You're being asked to recognize and accept your gut feelings. And you're being asked to continue to seek your life's purpose. So yeah, powerful cosmic being, continue to grow and continue to be uh, the vibrant cosmic being that you are. So let's go to the angel number 000. zero, zero. So the angel number 000, zero, zero says, can you feel the potential practicali practicality vibrating off this card? There's so much problem solver energy wrapped in those lovely rings, swirling around and around in ever more powerful loops. This is a number of beginnings, of fresh starts, of cycles, of creation. You are aligned with the infinite power of the universe, so dive into something beautiful. Your manifestation powers are at a peak right now. Even when you feel alone, remember your connection to the infinite. So, again, whoever, you know, this message is for, um, you're being reminded of your incredible creative potential here. Um, your, your originality is going to bring forth some type of new beginnings here. Um, continue to be connected, you know, to everything on a spiritual level. So continue to look at things from a higher perspective and continue to inspire people, um, you know, um, you know, to join you, you know, in looking, you know, at life from a higher perspective. There also could be inspiring new people that may be entering your life. So be aware of that as well. 
So, with that being said, y'all, let's hop in and, and, and see what's going on. Holy Spirit, what is it uh, that we need to know? So, the yin and the yang card fell out, but it uh, fell out in the reverse here. So, I'm picking up with the yin and yang in the reverse. Something is not balanced. There's pe two people that aren't balanced. Um, yeah, there's two people that are not equally yoked here. So I'm picking up, yeah, a uh, false divine counterpart is what I'm picking up with this yin and yang in the reverse here. So I'm going to put it back because it just slipped out. So there could be a false divine counterpart that could be lurking. Yeah, this person could possibly come in trying to act like that, you know, uh, they're they're sent to lead or they're sent, you know what I'm saying, as a divine counterpart. But the follow the leader card came out in the reverse. Uh, yeah, so be aware. Um, this person is, is not to be followed or this person is, you know, um, not the person that they're possibly uh, going to portray themselves to be or could be trying to portray themselves to be here. So be aware. Yeah, we have the Wizard of Awareness here. So, yeah, I feel like that whoever this person is, yeah, because this Wizard of Awareness card is the number three. So, yeah, um, mind, body, and spirit being in alignment. So, yeah, this person is not in alignment, you know, with the universe, with the Most High. Um, this person is not in alignment with whoever's resonating with this message, you know. If this was a real divine counterpart, um, in some way, you know, there y'all line up in some ways, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be energy, whether it be, you know, soul, uh, yeah. I feel like this person, either they don't know that they are with a false counterpart or there is somebody that's trying to come into somebody's world and this is a false divine counterpart. Somebody isn't aware, you know what I'm saying, of something here. Somebody doesn't want somebody to be aware of something here. Yeah, somebody just doesn't want to be trapped in fear here with this trapped in fear in the reverse. Somebody's trying to reverse karma here. Yeah, but somebody's also trying to get somebody off balance so somebody can be on balance, if that makes any sense. Uh, this trapped in fear card is the number eight. So, yeah, something about karma. Karma definitely could be reversing, you know. So, um, if somebody was getting receiving good karma, you know, they now could be receiving bad karma. Or, you know, somebody's trying to get somebody to receive bad karma when somebody's getting good karma. We have indecision in the reverse here. So somebody, yeah, wasn't uh, using their intuition here. Somebody doesn't want somebody to use their intuition when it comes to making some type of movement choices and decisions here. So, yeah, I feel like that somebody wants somebody to make the wrong movements, the wrong choices, and the wrong decisions here. Yeah, this is a number two. Yeah, so the angel number 222 talks about the right one, right place, right time, trust in what you want. Yeah, so somebody doesn't want somebody to make the right decision here. I'm also picking up too that yeah, there's uh, if if there's two decisions or two things that come in front of somebody, yeah, somebody I feel like that neither one of those um, things you know are to uh, are for a decision to be made upon. If that makes any any sense, I feel like that they both could be bad choices or bad yeah movements or bad decisions or something like that. So yeah, I feel like that there is a definitely uh, some type of compromise here or something that needs to be made or that somebody's trying to bring forth as well to somebody. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want somebody to move on here. The moving on card is in the reverse. You know, this could be move on, moving on from a job. You know, moving on, you know, from a friendship. Moving on, you know, um, from a business partnership. Moving on, you know, and being, you know, independent on their own. Moving on from a family. Moving on from a relationship here. Uh, this moving on card is a number six. So with that being said, yeah, um, something about the past. Somebody doesn't want somebody to move on uh, from the past or, some, or a fast person doesn't want somebody to move on from them. But somebody wasted too much time here. I'm also picking up too that, yeah, it's time for somebody to move on um, because, yeah, there definitely could be two people that could be coming together here and this come together card is a number eight 
So yeah, balance. So yeah, there definitely could be a false counterpart that possibly, yeah, doesn't want somebody to move on, you know? Um, this this definitely could be somebody that somebody knows or somebody that somebody doesn't know. Um, but I feel like uh, whoever this is, they have some type of, yeah, some type of purpose here. They're, they have, you know, something that they want or something that they need. You know, it could just be somebody's energy, somebody's money, you know. They just could be trying, you know, uh, yeah, to get somebody to, you know, make a, a, a wrong a wrong decision. You know what I'm saying? So, let's hop in and see what's going on. But I feel like that, yeah, um, there is some type of balance here that's being restored. Because we did see the 8 in the reverse, and then we see the 8 upright. So, But I'm also picking up two, yeah, reversal. Something is, yeah. Somebody thinks that, you know, um, their karma can be reversed if they get somebody to make some type of decision here. But I feel like that whoever this is, they're going to try to put, like two decisions in somebody's face, you know, but they're both bad or, you know, try to bring forth two offers, you know, um, put them in somebody's face, but they're both bad, but they possibly, you know, can look good, you know, they possibly could be glittering, you know, smelling good, you know, all that, but I feel like that they're all bad or they're both bad, excuse me, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is nothing but games, but this is pulling out all the stops. So yeah, nothing but games. Yeah, somebody could be coming in, you know, uh, with, with, you know, spitting game, you know, trying to woo somebody, you know, trying to, yeah, uh, whisper all up in somebody's ear, you know what I mean? I can do this for you, I can do that for you, you know, if we, if, if you just, you know, sign on this dotted line, or if you just say yes, you know, you can have the world, or whatever the situation is here, yeah, I feel like somebody's uh, gonna pull out uh, all the stops here. Or is trying to pull out all the stops to do something. And it definitely has something to do with playing games. You know, this is every ball in a game. Every tool, you know what I'm saying, that they use in the game. Or every, you know what I'm saying, piece of equipment that they use, you know, in, 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 in games. Playing games. Yeah, and then on the back of the uh, card, it says against. So this is somebody that is, is, is against somebody. Mm-hmm. So they're not really for somebody, they're against somebody. But I'm but I'm also picking up too that yeah, somebody's back could be against the wall now um because of all the games that they have played, you know, that possibly aren't working anymore. Um so be aware of somebody trying to yeah, come in with their little weak ass game, with their little weak ass, you know, um charm, you know, their manipulative charm, you know. Because I feel like that whoever this person is, um, yeah, they're just a distraction, you know. This person literally could be being sent as a diversion, so be aware. Um, but yeah, this person ain't this person ain't about nothing. They don't want nothing. I mean, they want something, but not, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to create a balance. This person is is off balance. This person, yeah, they're not in alignment with, with the most high. You know, they're not even in alignment with themselves. So whoever this person is, they don't even know themselves. They don't know who they are. You know, that's why they have to, you know, uh, use manipulative charm, you know, to get what they want. Or, you know, to, to you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, they have to, you know, play all the games, you know, pull out all the stops, you know, to, to you know, um, get in somebody's energy or, you know, um, I feel like this is, yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like that uh, this person could be, you know, like athletic built, you know, this person for, if it's a masculine energy, they could have, you know, like muscles, you know, um, this person possibly does play sports, you know, um, if it's a female, yeah, they have like an athletic build, but I'm also picking up too that whoever, you know, this message is for, yeah, you have a tough exterior, you know what I mean, and you're against, you know, the games, you're against, um, you're against, you know, 
uh, the the manipulative charm or you know you, you you don't like all that you know what I mean just come as you are is what I just heard so yeah whoever whoever's resonate with this message you just rather have somebody to be the real version of them even if it's corny or even if you know this even if they you know feel like that they you know look dumb being the 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 real version of them I feel like that that's literally what you would rather have you know yeah this is somebody that'll go you know get get their brothers you know um uh their brother's lamborghini you know and pull up you know and be like yeah you like my new car i just got this new car yesterday you know uh this is somebody yeah that'll go you know buy some fake money you know what i'm saying um and put it up to their ear you know like a big stack and put it up to their ear hollering back can you hear me now can you hear me now? Y'all know how they do it with the with the stacks of money. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, this is somebody that'll post on social media, you know, like a, a, a money spread, but it's all fake money. Yeah, so be aware of this person coming in with some fake stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three strikes, you're out. But yeah, struck down. So whoever this person is, they know that they're going to be struck down, you know. Um, and so maybe that's why they, they yeah, they want to pull out all the stops. So yeah, this person possibly is going to try to pull up in a Lamborghini that don't belong to them. Or you know what I'm saying? This person is going to pull up, you know, and act like that they got $100,000 worth of jewelry on, but it's really $10, you know what I'm saying, worth the jewelry. Uh, yeah, this person knows that they're going to be struck down, though. And so that's why they're pulling out all the stops. That's why they're trying to, yeah, gather up any and everything that they can gather up uh, before they, you know, communicate with somebody or try to come towards somebody here. So be aware. But this slid out, so I'm going to put it back. Yeah, this person definitely could be just trying to get pulled up out of the dark abyss, you know? This person definitely is in a dark place at this time. Um, the family card, it kind of uh, flipped out, but I'm going to put it back because it didn't come all the way out. But yeah, the family tree card. Mm-hmm. This definitely could be a family member. So be aware of that as well. You know? But I'm picking up that it could be somebody that somebody dealt with in, you know, like, in a, you know, situationship. I'm not going to say relationship. Because I don't feel like that this person really, you know, um, really survives relationships, you know. I feel like that once people find out that the, the, the real person, the real version of this person is not who, you know, basically they're, yeah, they're, they're, they send their representative, you know. Um, their representative is them. Versus the real them being them, if that makes any sense, yeah, I feel like the people, you know, walk away from this person. Or, you know what I'm saying, they tell this person to kick rocks and keep kicking them. Because whoever this is, yeah, they're fake, fraud, and phony. And it came back out. And this time it did flip out, so yeah. This is somebody, yeah, that um, somebody could have, you know, tried to have a family with. You know, but I mean, it could literally be a family member or it could be a friend of, you know, the family or something like that. Um, yeah, it could be a, somebody like a family member's friend, like, you know, your brother's friend or your sister's friend, you know, um, your cousin's friend, your uncle's friend, your auntie's friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got an earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, so you could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or there is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, yeah. But on the back of this card, it says near. So this is somebody that could be near somebody, or this is somebody, yeah, that, uh, is trying to stay attached to somebody. This is, yeah, somebody that's trying to get close to somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this definitely could be somebody, you know what I'm saying, 
that yeah has been like to family get togethers uh family cookouts you know um you know whatever whatever goes on the funerals you know uh you know yeah whatever goes on in the family i feel like that this person you know has been there so this is somebody yeah that somebody definitely does know um i feel like whoever this person is if they're a female they could be, you know, lesbian or bis well, male or female, they could be bisexual. Because it's something about being against balls, you know what I'm saying? So, somebody definitely could be a lesbian. Somebody could be, you know, saying that whoever's resonating with this message is a lesbian. Maybe somebody's family members, you know what I'm saying, are, are saying that somebody's a lesbian or somebody is against balls or, you know. But I feel like that um, it's because, you know, of some, some, some gossip, some lies. Or it's, or it's something that somebody did in the past, you know, like, uh, you know how when you're young, you know, when you're with your friends in college and, you know, you're partying or whatever the situation is and you just might kiss your friend, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the situation is, yeah, I feel like that uh, that could be the case for somebody, yeah, and, and, and somebody definitely could be still playing on that after 20 years, you know what I'm saying, so in, in somebody's mind, somebody is bisexual or they're a lesbian because... 20 years ago when they were in college they kissed their best friend you know what I'm saying and so that could have been the story of somebody's life all these years and somebody definitely could still be trying to use that to their advantage or you know what I'm saying vice versa you know whatever you know men do I don't know but moving on what else Holy Spirit Somebody, yeah, somebody definitely could be getting a dose of their own medicine as well. Something about a family vacation. So be aware of somebody, yeah, trying to come in, you know what I'm saying, and be like, yeah, um, let me take you, you know, on a vacation, or let me take you and your family on a vacation, but they can't even, you know, pay for a, a quarter pounder at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? They can't pay for a foot long at Subway. Or be aware, you know what I'm saying, of, yeah, this person trying to ride on your coattail. Be aware. I just keep picking up. Be aware. So, yeah, be aware. Give me another one, Holy Spirit. Just one. Thank you. Yeah. This is Keep It Together card. This is zipped up, though. This is, yeah, um keeping something inside or keeping something close yeah but on the back of the car yeah keep it together something zipped up yeah keep your legs closed is what I'm picking up or keep your keep your zipper zipped so yeah somebody definitely could just be trying to come in you know what I'm saying and get between somebody's legs you know trying to get somebody yeah in the bed I'm picking up makeup to break up so be aware this definitely could be somebody that, yeah, somebody was, you know, had a family with or tried to have a family with. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say had a family because, it, because I feel like that this person, you know, again, they're not, yeah, they're short term committal. You know what I'm saying? This person, they could be committal, committed to a certain extent. I feel like this person possibly is going to try to act like that they're ready to commit now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like whoever this person is, again, they have, yeah, hidden motives. They have some type of hidden agenda here, so be aware. Yeah. Somebody definitely could be, yeah, um, you know how they uh, label people based off of, you know, their booties, you know, or their bodies, you know, like if they got an hourglass figure or they're slim, thick, or, you know, they're uh, BBW or whatever the situation is. Yeah, somebody could be slim, thick, or that's how somebody could be labeled. You know, people could label somebody as slim, thick. Yeah, we have the nighttime here. So something about the nighttime is very significant. 
so be aware, you know, of, of somebody, you know, reaching out to you, you know, in the nighttime or, you know, trying to, you know, pull up on you in the nighttime. But look, it's dark. So this person is in the dark. I don't know if this person, yeah, is trying to, yeah, sneak somebody or, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, yeah, keep something hidden. So again, be aware, cause yeah, this is giving me like trying to hide. Like, why you gotta pull up on somebody in the in the nighttime? You know what I'm saying? And then with this zipper, yeah, on the back of the zipper card it says "Together at Night." So be aware. I'm also picking up too that yeah, side note, somebody yeah is is, is uh, regretting something that they've done. They should have keep kept it zipped up, and it definitely could be this person. So be aware, and it, and it's something that yeah, somebody did at nighttime. Yeah. This is the bright idea card, but this is also, yeah, um, intuition, um, intuition on. So, yeah, whoever is resonating with this message, yeah, your intuition is on. Um, I feel like it's very heightened at this time. That light bulb is very, very bright, but it's something about, yeah, your light. But I feel like, yeah, be aware of, yeah, light bulbs going out or be aware of, you know, um, Yeah, and this could be like on a vehicle, you know, this could be like an important light bulb. Uh, yeah, side note. Yeah, somebody needs to keep ideas to themselves as well. So like ideas, visions, dreams, yeah, keep it zipped up, keep it together. Mm-hmm. But it's something about, yeah, family or family members. Somebody definitely could be trying to come in and be like, yeah, I'm trying to keep the family together, you know what I'm saying? And they might have this bright idea. Yeah, how about, you know, we just buy a house together and, you know what I'm saying, yada, yada, and blase, blase. Uh, at the end of the day, again, I don't feel like that this person, you know, really has too much to, to offer, you know? I feel like that um, whoever this person is, they possibly... Uh, Know that whoever is resonating with this message has a lot to offer here. Yeah, somebody played a lot of games. You know what I'm saying? Trying to holler about that they want to be a family. Somebody, yeah, definitely could have hid, you know. Um, so somebody, yeah, could have kept somebody a secret from their family. You know what I mean? So somebody, or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody's kept uh, some stuff secret, you know. From whoever's resonating with this message, probably from their family members as well. But when it comes to whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, I feel like that this person definitely, you know, could have, you know, either kept, try to keep whoever's resonating with this message a secret or they didn't, you know, tell the truth. So they could have said, yeah, and this person, they could have had feelings, but, you know, maybe they were just immature, you know. Maybe this is like the past, like when people were in college or, you know what I'm saying, um... You know, when people were, you know, still, you know, trying to figure themselves out. You know what I'm saying? But but with the uh, pulling out all the stops coming out first, I feel like that this person is still about games. You know what I mean? Maybe this person grew up, you know, manipulating. Maybe this person grew up, you know, with, the, yeah, using using their charm, but using it, you know, to manipulate um, people, you know, to, to get in their, their pants. Or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, manipulate people, you know, um into short-term situations here I feel like yeah this person um, this person yeah they hid a lot from who I was resonating with this message they possibly hid a lot you know from their family but I'm also picking up too that yeah this person's family you know could have known a lot of stuff um, as well so this person did this person could have hid their feelings let me say that from their family like this person possibly you know did have feelings for whoever's resonating with this message but they basically could have lied you know to 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 their to their family or to their friends you know i don't like them um i don't have feelings for them but it's something about yeah the past somebody's past so somebody yeah but the past is the past like how are you gonna judge somebody off of 20 years ago 
You know what I mean? How are you going to judge somebody off of, you know, what they did in college when they're, when they're you know, a um, successful lawyer out here in these streets now? You know what I mean? Uh, they're a successful judge out here in these streets. They're a successful doctor. You know, they're a successful athlete. They're a successful person, period. You know? But I feel like that, yeah, this person, yeah. And maybe, you know... Let me let me give a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Again, maybe this person was, you know what I'm saying, basing stuff, you know, off of the past. You know, what people were saying. Oh, they kissed a girl 20 years ago. Don't be with them. They like, they, they're they a lesbian. They don't like balls. You know, they, they like, yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe, you know what I'm saying, this person, they realizing, you know, that they played a lot of games, you know. And maybe it's because of what they... You know, their family and friends thought, you know. Um, and maybe this person is, you know, just trying to keep it, you know, a secret now. Maybe they don't, you know, maybe they're like, yeah, I know that they're going to judge us, you know, if we're together or whatever. But, you know, so maybe we should just keep it a secret. I feel like that either way it goes, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So y'all be aware. And it came, yeah, well, this is the universe card, but it's something about the nighttime. So be aware. But yeah, the universe. I feel like, yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, I feel like, yeah, you've done spoke some things into the universe. And I feel like that they're, they're coming back, you know what I mean? Uh, karma. So uh, if you spoke good things into the universe, then yeah, good things are coming back. If you spoke bad things into the universe, it's coming back vice versa you know so if this person spoke bad things into the universe bad things are coming back on this person if they if, if this person spoke good things to the universe then good things are coming back you know uh to this person here i feel like that whoever's resonating with this message uh this person, I feel like, yeah, this is somebody that somebody could have knew for a very, very long time. This person has watched whoever's resonating with this message, you know, go through a lot, you know, um, go through a lot, you know, in school, you know. So this could be somebody that, yeah, knows somebody since high school, you know, um, could have watched this person grow up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely could have been around their family. Like I said, you know, being at family cookouts, get togethers, you know, um, could definitely, you know, be friends with somebody's family members. But I feel like they, yeah, whoever this person is, they definitely, yeah. Maybe there's somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe this is somebody that, yeah, somebody doesn't know that they, uh, maybe they've played these games with other people. And maybe whoever's resonating with this message has seen this person play games with other people. And so, yeah, because we've seen the struck down card. So maybe, yeah, this person feels like if they try to, you know, be a family or try to, you know, tell somebody that they're into them or whatever that they're going to be struck down yeah something about the past so yeah maybe whoever's resonating with this message maybe you saw this person do some things in the past or again you could have you know had some type of you know situationship with this person in the past and maybe you know what this person is about you know and maybe that's all somebody remembers about this person is they like to play games um but maybe it's vice versa. Maybe this person, you know, feels like that, yeah, whoever is resonating with this message, you know, they like to play games too. I don't know. But I feel like that uh, something is off. We saw the eight in the reverse, the eight in the upright, the three in the reverse. Something's off. Off, off. So be aware. Why well, is pulling out all the stops here? Yeah, the universe two times. But this is uh, the star card. So, yeah, healing. Aquarius energy. So, yeah, Aquarius. Uh, there could be Aquarius Capricorn Cusper because we do have Earth out here. Mm-hmm. Something about the nighttime is very significant. Um, and there is an Aquarius. Somebody could be a star. Or somebody deals with a lot of stars. 
because it's five stars on this card. Yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you're a five star individual. You know what I mean? Um, you're a five star individual, and somebody knows it. Maybe somebody feels like that they're out of your league or something like that. Um, but yeah, somebody could be trying to pull out all the stops. Talking about, yeah, I'm going to take you to a five-star restaurant. You and your whole family, yada, yada, blase, blase. But again, came by a quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is somebody that, yeah, definitely could be trying to get, 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 get you all excited, get you all up in your head or whatever the situation is here. Or this is somebody that, yeah... Knows that somebody lives, you know, a, 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 a comfortable life, you know what I'm saying? And definitely could be, yeah, trying to get near somebody, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to live a comfortable life. Somebody could also be trying to get near somebody, yeah, um, to get somebody to, to make some type of impulsive decision here. Be aware of making impulsive decisions or be, be aware of not thinking before acting. Mm-hmm. Because the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody somebody definitely could be keep withholding the fact that they, yeah, lying. All cap. So be aware. Why is this uh, family here? But yeah, somebody definitely could be trying to heal or trying to act like that they want to heal, you know, with somebody here. This is somebody that likes to play a lot of games. Yeah, it came back out. All cap. I feel like, yeah, if somebody tries to come in and act like that they've healed, yeah, so your intuition plus the most high, the universe is going to basically let you know that, yeah, this person ain't, ain't, ain't changed, this person ain't healed, this person, yeah, um, but I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody, somebody, yeah, they're either a star or they uh, are around stars or like to be, you know what I'm saying, or they think that they're a star, somebody's name could be star, um, But it's something about, yeah, somebody playing a lot of games with stars as well. So maybe that's what somebody, you know, is uh, regretting. So maybe, yeah, somebody knows a lot of stars, a lot of celebrities, and they, you know, do things. Um, I don't know. But somebody, I feel like somebody regrets it. But at the same time, yeah, somebody definitely could have lied, you know. That they know a lot of stars or, you know, that they be around the stars, the celebrities and things of that nature. I feel like, that yeah, there's a liar out here um, that likes to play a lot of games, you know, that likes to put on. Uh, yeah. And they definitely could have been caught, could have gotten caught. That's why they're trying to get close to whoever's resonating with this message. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. But this person is going to try to come in, you know what I'm saying, uh... And act like, yeah, what you talking about, Willis? You know, they're not going to divulge, you know, what's been going on the past 10 years or the past 5 years or whatever the situation is. Yeah. Why does it keep it zipper? Zipped up? Yeah, somebody could also, or family member, some a family member or somebody um, could have also lied. Yeah, and say, uh, and it's about somebody's, you know, sexual, the stuff that they do in their own bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Whether somebody did it or not. Yeah, somebody kept it zipped up. Somebody definitely could have lied to somebody, you know what I'm saying? So that somebody wouldn't, you know, want to be sexually active with somebody or something like that. Yeah, somebody can't duck something here. Somebody, yeah, no longer wants to duck. No longer is a sitting duck. Somebody, yeah, somebody's being kept, being keeping something quiet uh, long enough. You know how it says zip your lips? Yeah, with the zipper here. Yeah. Somebody can no longer duck something here. Somebody can no longer duck. Yeah, somebody's intuition as well. So whoever this person is, they're scared of somebody's intuition or they're scared that somebody already knows some stuff here. So, yeah, be aware of that as well. But, yeah, somebody can't duck the fact that, yeah, they lied. Whoever's resonating with this message, 
yeah, if you've been speaking healing into the universe, that's what you're that's definitely what you're doing here. You know, um, if you've been speaking healing into the universe, as far as you know, like if your family is, you know, going through trauma or drama or whatever, you know, and you and you uh, spoke healing into the universe as far as for your family. That's um, yeah, that's that healing is definitely um, going to take place or it already has begun to take place for you and your family here. But there is a liar out here that has been withholding a lot of information um, and they can't no longer duck it or they yeah they they no longer can I feel like it's eating them up on the inside here why is this bright idea card here intuition card mm. well it, it the disappointing card came out but it came out in the upright and then when it fell on the floor it it, it fell in the reverse here so yeah, somebody knows that somebody I don't know somebody possibly is trying to get somebody to go from dis uh, disappointed to not disappointed. Or somebody yeah thought that the bright idea was to disappoint somebody, but somebody's not disappointed or somebody can't disappoint somebody i don't know but we have the wolf in sheep clothing here at the bottom of the deck so yeah wolf in sheep clothing we're gonna put the disappointed card back because i don't really know which way to take it so yeah bright idea intuition somebody can see a coyote in the nighttime but something about a coyote um so yeah coyotes are used um to do certain things yeah, so something about, yeah, trying to use somebody to do something here. So, again, be aware. Or somebody's already, you know, gotten themselves involved in something. And they're trying to, again, get near whoever's resonating with this message. Or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But we have uh, the spiritual team here. So, your spiritual team has definitely got your back. Whoever's resonating with this message. But, yeah, intuition, spirit. So, yeah. Whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you definitely do communicate with your spiritual team. Um, yeah, you definitely could be receiving messages from your spiritual team as we speak. We got the spirit. We got your spirit. We got your intuition here, spirit team, and the universe, the most high. So, wow. So, that's why somebody can't. Yeah, that's why somebody's illusions don't work for whoever's resonating with this message. That's why somebody's games don't work. Maybe, maybe, yeah, somebody... Um, no. No. I don't know if somebody thinks that a bright idea to go to somebody's spiritual team, you know, is going to get them, you know, in the door or something like that. Somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody can't duck somebody's spiritual team here. So, yeah, somebody's surrounded by spiritual security. So, I feel like, yeah, every time somebody tries to infiltrate somebody's energy or somebody tries to, you know, communicate with somebody, somebody could try to communicate with somebody, you know, through music, you know. Uh, they could try to communicate, yeah, through the ethers, through the universe, through um, energy in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I feel like, yeah, somebody's stopped in their tracks. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I feel like that... Um, because somebody can't do it from afar, somebody's trying to get near somebody. Somebody's trying to get, yeah, close to somebody. So, I mean, this could be, again, you know, a friend of the family. This could be, I don't know, I don't like the, the family tree here. Maybe somebody lied and said that they were somebody's family member. I don't know, I don't like it. I just feel like it's somebody from the past that, you know, could... Yeah, know somebody's, you know, whole family, you know, just the same as whoever's resonating with this message could know this person's whole family. Why is the universe here? Yeah, somebody's burdened. I've seen the cargo ship card. So, yeah, whoever this person is, they're burdened. They have a lot of burdens. So, be aware. So, this person definitely could, yeah, be trying to make their burdens, your burdens. Holy Spirit, give me one for the universe, please, and thank you. Yeah. 
burden, yeah, because cause they threw somebody up underneath the bus or somebody was thrown up underneath the bus or somebody's trying to throw um, somebody under the bus here. But with the, with the spiritual team and the bus here, it's kind of giving me like, yeah, somebody ready to get on their spiritual journeys. But be aware, you know, somebody just using that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm ready, you know, to get on my spiritual journey. I'm ready to surrender to the light, you know, because um, remember, we had a lot of we have a lot of dark out here. Mm hmm. Whatever somebody, yeah, spoken to the universe, you know, projected into the universe. I feel like it was negative. Yeah. I feel like it's it's being it's 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 being backfired or it's it's a boomerang effect or something like that. Somebody is being thrown under the bus here, but I'm also picking up too that yeah. Whoever's resonating with this message, you're definitely being protected, you know, um from being thrown under the bus or being, you know what I'm saying, um looked at in a certain way or looked at you know as far as because of your past or you know what i mean whatever whatever whoever's resonating with this message has been speaking into the universe for you know this could be um healing you know what i mean um this could be uh you know um for more wisdom and knowledge, you know, this could be, you know, to, to get closer, you know, to the most high or to, you know, hear your uh, spiritual cl team clearly. I feel like that, yeah, it's coming. Whoever Whoever's resonating with this message, we, we talked about uh, the angel numbers, the angel number 11 and the angel number 000. So, yeah. Um, so the, the 000 talk about new beginnings and, you know, things of that nature. Manifestation. So, yes, yeah, somebody's been manifesting some stuff. We got intuition spiritual team and the universe out here so somebody definitely has been manifesting something here i'm also picking up too that yeah somebody there's somebody that um didn't think that um manifestation was a thing you know they didn't think you know um that you know uh i guess spirit guides angels ancestors were a thing um yeah, I'm, I feel like that somebody, you know, they only they only know the name of God or the name of Jesus, you know. I feel like that, yeah, this person is surface, you know. Maybe this person is religious and not spiritual, you know. Uh, maybe this person really doesn't delve in anything. They just know the name of God or Jesus or, you know, whoever, you know, they subscribe to. Um, yeah, this is a surface level person. This person has yet to dig for oil or maybe, you know what I'm saying, um... Somebody's spiritual team, yeah, had to basically show this person, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you got to dig. You got to dig for that for that oil. You got to dig for that wisdom and knowledge. It's more than just God and Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all you got to do is open your Bible and it'll tell you, you know? Maybe this is somebody that don't even, you know, read their Bible. Uh, I don't know. But I feel like, the, yeah, this person, um, they took a lot of stuff for granted, including whoever's resonating with this message. Um, and again... You know, I'm going to try to give this person the benefit of the doubt until the cards say otherwise. Uh, but I am still feeling that energy of like, yeah, games, because that's what came out in the beginning of the message. But maybe it's in the past. And maybe this person, you know, they could be healing their ways, you know, and, and maybe they're wanting a, a family. But I feel like that this person, yeah, they're still out of somebody's league. I mean, I mean, whoever's resonating with this message is out of this person's league in some way, shape, form or fashion. Um, or that's just how this person feels, but I feel like whoever this person is, if, if they feel like that, yeah, they don't have any confidence. Their self-esteem is low. That means they still don't know who they are. They, they need to go within, you know? I feel like this person is withholding some stuff from somebody, but they can no longer duck it, you know what I mean? And maybe this person, yeah, maybe they're thinking like, maybe if I just pray, you know, to... to uh, and the ancestors, you know, the spirit guys, the angels, or whatever the situation is, you know, if I pray to the universe, if I pray to God, you know, um, things will change. I feel like whoever this person is, they, um, they threw somebody up underneath the bus. That's what they're worried about. But I feel like that this person done threw somebody up underneath the bus so bad that, yeah, it's eating away at them. 
this person possibly could have been thrown under the bus as well. Or somebody's trying to throw this person under the bus by, you know what I'm saying, revealing that this person threw you up underneath the bus. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I do feel like that whatever somebody is, is manifesting, because we talked about it in the beginning of the message, it's coming, you know. So be aware. And again, we do have the intuition card. We have the spiritual team card. And we have the universe card. So yeah, be aware. I'm also picking up too that yeah, um, something, yeah, somebody's spiritual team has something covered here. Y'all see how this is a covering? So yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, your spiritual team definitely has something covered. Definitely have you covered, but definitely has something covered, you know? So it could just be dealing with this person. I feel like whoever's resonating with this message, you really don't have anything to worry about. I keep hearing the be aware, but it's, you know, to just make you aware that somebody yeah, is trying to come towards you or trying to communicate, you know, and they might just be trying to play games or they might not, you know. Um, yeah. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yeah. Yeah, when it comes to the family tree card with the all cap card, yeah, somebody's family member, you know, or people from somebody's family, you know, could have lied to this person, you know, to make this person think, you know, some things um, about whoever's resonating with this message. And maybe this person has been keeping it, you know, holding it in, you know, for a very long time. And now, you know, they uh, possibly can't no longer, you know, duck it or they can't, you know... Um, but I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, somebody doesn't have a choice. We have the intuition, spiritual team, and the universe. So, yeah, somebody is being divinely guided to do something here. So somebody definitely could be divinely guided, you know, to um, reveal some stuff. Somebody could be being divinely guided to come towards somebody, you know. I'm also picking up, too, that whoever this person is, they could be, you know, somebody's divine counterpart i know we picked up on fake divine counterparts this person could possibly realize be realizing that they you know were with a fake divine counterpart and that's why you know they were off balance that's why they weren't in alignment with the most high you know or yeah just realizing that they weren't in alignment with the most high because they were with the false counterpart you know and so maybe yeah this person is realizing that they played a lot of games you know um with the person that they possibly were supposed to be with. Mm -hmm. While I was pulling out all stops here. Uh, with the star card. Yeah. We got marriage here. This definitely could be somebody that somebody's supposed to be married to. You know what I'm saying? This marriage card is a number three card. Somebody could have been married, you know, multiple times. Um, yeah, third time the charm. March. Something about March is significant. I don't know. Married. We got the marriage card with the family. So I don't know if somebody lied and said somebody was married multiple times and they weren't. I feel like, yeah, somebody's family or family members could have told somebody a lot of lies here just to keep somebody away. Or, or you know, it, it could be, you know, family members, friends, you know. But this definitely could be somebody that somebody was is it was married to, you know. Somebody could be married to a star or there's an Aquarius. Something about, yeah, stars and celebrities. Um, yeah. There could be, in, uh, be a celebrity that could have been married, you know, multiple times. Side note. Something about the big three because there's a three on the card. So I don't know what the big three means. But, uh, yeah. But there definitely could be somebody that possibly wants to heal with somebody. Yeah. And balance things out. Mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. So there are two people that are supposed to come together. Um, because this is a number three card. Angel number 333 three, three is all about the equilibrium. Mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. So there are two people that's supposed to come together. And supposed to, you know, have a family and things of that nature. Yeah. 
Wow. There's something about a, a path changing. Because we have the pathway card, and on the path, it's butterflies. So some type of path, yeah, the path is changing here. Or be aware, yeah, of somebody, you know, trying to come in and say that they have changed, you know. Um, changed, they want to go down the right path or whatever the situation is. But somebody could be realizing, yeah, the lies, you know, basically, yeah, change their path. Whoever this person is, maybe they're ready to get on the right path. But be aware of somebody else, a false counterpart trying to come in, yeah, to try to change somebody's path, path here, you know. But then I was also picking up two at the beginning of the message, you know, talking about two, two decisions. Both of them could be, you know, bad decisions. So be aware, y'all. Why well, is the family tree here with the all cap? Yeah, we got the main male here. So there's a masculine energy here. Yeah. This all cap. This is the liar. This is the one that's been withholding some stuff from somebody. Yeah. But I feel like that this masculine energy, this could be a family member as well that, that could have lied on somebody. Somebody definitely could have married a family member. So be aware. Or there's somebody's family members, like somebody's divine counterpart's family member could be trying to come in, you know what I'm saying, and get with somebody. Yeah, we have the Distant Horizons card at the bottom of the deck. This is the Future card. So yeah. But somebody could be married out here trying to come in and act like, you know what I'm saying, that they want to heal something with somebody. It's a lot going on in this message. Yeah, March the 1st could be significant. Uh, January the 3rd could be significant. The number thir 31 could be significant. The number 13 could be significant. Something could have happened 13 years ago. Uh, somebody could be 31 years of age. Yeah, somebody needs to keep keep some keep their zipper zipped up too. But yeah, somebody knows that they were lied to or they lied to somebody or some people and they can no longer keep it in. Mm-hmm. We have expectation here. So somebody could be expecting, you know what I mean? Somebody can be expecting a child. Maybe maybe that's what um, somebody has been, you know, withholding from somebody. Yeah, January the 28th, January the 3rd, uh, March the 28th could be significant. Whatever somebody has been uh, manifesting is coming. So regardless, uh, you know what I'm saying? And maybe, yeah, that's what I was picking up. Somebody's spiritual team has them covered. No matter what somebody tries to do, somebody could try to come towards somebody or try to communicate with somebody. Yeah, somebody's not dumb, stupid, or slow. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's intuition is, is heightened. Yeah, somebody's spiritual team has their back. And yeah, somebody's been speaking great things to the universe. So there is nobody with dark energy or that has hidden an intentions or some type of hidden agenda going to be able to infiltrate this security, this spiritual security. Yeah. Whoever's resonating with this message, your spiritual security is definitely surrounding you at this time. Yeah, because you're on your spiritual journey. Uh, but it's time for, yeah, you to get on your spiritual journey or on the path. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with the person that you're supposed to be on the path with. This journey card is a number 10. And remember, we were talking about new beginning. New beginning signifies, uh, uh, the number 10 signifies new beginning as well. As well as the um, uh, triple zero. Mm-hmm. October the 28th, October the 1st, October the 3rd. So something about October, January, March. So something could have happened. Uh, let me see. Yeah, every three months. Something about every three months. And we do have three on this card here. I feel like whatever was taking, whatever took place every three months, it comes to an end here. Something about, yeah, somebody communicating with somebody every three months. Or I don't know. 
or every three months there was a new lie, a new weirdo. Somebody's birthday could be January the 28th or January the 3rd, uh, March the 1st or March the 28th, October the 28th, October the 3rd, or October the 4th. Intuition with the spiritual team. We got courthouse here. Spiritual court. But yeah, somebody thought it was a bright idea to throw somebody up underneath um, the bus in spiritual court. This could be physical court as yeah. Well, yeah, we got main female at the bottom of the deck. So wow. And something about the number two. Well, we got one, two, three. So yeah, a countdown to a new beginning. Yep. Main male is one. Main female is two. Marriage, three. Be aware, yeah, somebody, um, yeah, this is, this definitely could be a spiritual marriage as well. So somebody could be, yeah, could have tried, could have married somebody in the spirit or could have, yeah, something about a spiritual marriage. Uh, but be aware of somebody, yeah, trying to, and, and it could be being divinely guided because, or it could be, yeah, divine intervention or, yeah, divine timing. Because we do have the intuition card with the spiritual team with the universe card, the God card, and, and the courthouse here. So, yeah, somebody, yeah, could be getting married in the courthouse is what I'm picking up. Or that's what somebody wants to do. But I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, somebody definitely threw somebody up underneath the bus. This is spiritual court, but it also could be physical court. Why the universe with the bus here? Yep, we have the privileged lady here. So we just saw the main female go from the main female to the privileged lady. Um, so whoever's resonating with this message, yeah, you're getting ready to go to the privileged lady here. But it's something about... Um, some hidden stuff, so be aware of that as well. Um, but there is somebody else out here. So somebody, whoever the, whoever this other feminine energy is, they definitely could have been involved in, you know, throwing somebody up underneath the bus, or you know what I mean? But yeah, you're definitely getting ready to be uh, the privileged lady or the, or the wealthy man, because the, the wealthy man is the match to the privileged lady here. So be aware of uh, yeah, somebody trying to come in to get you to make some type of indecisive decision here. Um when 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 the universe is already yeah preparing will already has something prepared for you, you know? It's called God's plan. And then also on top of that, your spiritual security is not about to let nobody infiltrate. Um you know, your energy. They're not your spiritual team is not getting ready to let nobody uh that's not supposed to be near you, get near you. But yeah, somebody's a thief here. Somebody definitely could have stole from their family or a family member stole from somebody. Yeah. March the 24th could be significant. January the 24th. January, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, December the 24th. December the 23rd. December the, Yeah, so something about every three months is what I'm picking up. So somebody definitely did steal. Somebody's a thief out here. Mm -mm. Yeah, the number, I forgot the angel number 11 is, is awakened. So yeah, somebody could be awakening out here. And it could be whoever this masculine energy is. They could be awakening, you know, to their family, you know, to the person that they possibly were dealing with, you know. 
uh, to their job, you know, to secrets that they have been withholding, um, a lot of things. I feel like somebody's about to bust, you know. I feel like somebody's conscience is weighing heavy on them, and it all, and it all, yeah. Somebody was thrown under the bus for sure, or people, or people threw somebody up underneath the bus. Wow. We got caught on camera here. So something was caught on camera. And so that could be what somebody, you know, threw somebody up underneath the bus about. But somebody definitely could be taking meds to numb the pain because their life is sprawling down. So be aware of it being that person, you know, trying to get near whoever's resonating with this message. Yeah, somebody's green with envy as well. Um, it could be family members, you know. It could be, you know, a married couple. Or it could be somebody that somebody was married to. It could be who uh, a Cancer Leo Cusper. You could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Or there's a Cancer Leo Cusper that's green with envy here. Whoever's resonating with this message, don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. So with that being said, yeah, there could uh, come some type of time. Yeah, with this expectation in courthouse, whoever's resonating with this message, you might just have to, you know what I'm saying, go to court. So you could have been the one that was thrown under the bus, you know. Maybe people try to, you know, get you involved and say that you were a thief in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But yeah, uh, don't be afraid to speak up for yourself. Maybe that's what people are trying to do, you know what I'm saying, is uh, stop you from speaking up for yourself or, you know, putting you in some type of fear. Yeah, we have April here, so we are in April. Somebody's name could be April. We're almost at the end of April, so something definitely take to, is taking place this month. Somebody definitely could be awakening this month. Um, somebody definitely could be realizing, you know, everything that, you know, they were involved in or their family was involved in or, you know, that they, that they try to get whoever's resonating with this message involved in. Yeah, this is somebody that somebody could have blocked out here. So there is somebody that wants somebody to unblock them. And so, yeah, be aware because whoever this person is, they definitely think that your door is a revolving door. Wow. And this person definitely is holding withholding a lot of stuff. But I feel like that yeah, whoever this person is, they can no longer um duck some stuff here. But I'm also picking up too that yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they think that your door is a revolving door. Um the universe has a plan and it definitely has a uh, has everything to do with whoever's resonating with this message, being a privileged lady, being married, being happy, you know what I mean? And so whoever this person is that thinks that your door is a revolving door, you know, this person is possibly trying to stop, you know, the plan that God has for your life here. Yeah, we got a Leo Aries Sagittarius, so you could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius, or there is a Leo Aries Sagittarius, you know, that thinks that your door is a revolving door. Mm-hmm. Whoever this Leo Aries Sagittarius is, they're a hater. And they're they're a hater amongst the other haters. So yeah, this is somebody that, that possibly threw you underneath the bus here. Yeah. Whoever's resonating with this message, ignore the haters because they will fade away. So yeah, the haters, they were projecting negative energy into the universe about whoever's resonating with this message. And so, yeah, whoever these haters are, they definitely will fade away. And, you know, we don't really know what fade away means. But, you know, we have a spiritual team and the universe, the most high out here. So, yeah. Yep, we got stalker alert. So there's a stalker out here that is stalking somebody. 
this could be an Aquarius, you know. But I feel like whoever this stalker is, they definitely are watching somebody, you know, live a comfortable life. Um, I'm also picking up too that yeah, whoever this person is, they possibly yeah want to divulge some stuff. They're trying to throw people underneath the bus. They think if they throw people underneath the bus, then they you know can walk in your door. That's not a revolving door. So again, be aware. So yeah, there's somebody a stalker that's been stalking somebody heavily uh, during the month of uh, April or something about every three months or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we got letters here. So it's something about letters. And this could be, you know, letters from the court or something like that. Because if you see on this card, this person has uh, letters in their hand. So, yeah, with that being said, somebody definitely could have, yeah, um, wrote letters to the courts, you know, throwing somebody up underneath the bus or lying on somebody. But it's something about, yeah, because we have the all caps. So somebody, yeah, was lying. They were capping. And maybe there's letters to prove it. Or maybe there's evidence to prove it. But yeah, somebody definitely serves two masters. Or they thought, or they think that they can serve two masters. And so that could be why somebody's spiritual team and, yeah, the new universe, the most high is here. Yeah. Whoever's resonating with this message, you're covered. Yeah. If people were writing letters to the courts saying that you serve two masters or that you, you know what I'm saying, you're covered. I feel like, yes, your spiritual your spiritual security is surrounding you. But, uh, yeah, I feel like somebody or some people are getting uh, a spiritual ass whooping here. Because, yeah, you're authentic and real. But there's also somebody else, you know, that's a match for you that's authentic and real. And so with that being said, it's something about, yeah, people, um, you know, trying to make somebody look fake, fraud, and phony like them. Mm -hmm. Somebody's definitely getting ready to be a first-time felon here. So be aware of that. Um, somebody definitely could have tried to get whoever's resonating with this message, you know. If you're not a felon, yeah, they somebody was trying to get you a first, to be a first-time felon here. Mm -hmm. I feel like whoever this is that possibly is realizing that they're going to be a first time felon or somebody that was trying to get whoever's resonating with this message to be a first time felon. Yeah, uh, they're trying to come in to butter whoever's resonating with this message up. So be aware. Be aware. I feel like, uh, yeah, whoever this is the person that thinks that uh, somebody's door is a revolving door. But yeah, you definitely could be cold as ice, you know. I feel like that you already know what's up. I feel like, yeah, this person definitely is going to try to come in, you know, and act like. Or maybe that was the plan because we are at the end of April. So, yeah, maybe because this person is blocked out or whatever. Um, they couldn't, you know. Yeah, I just heard mission aborted. So, yeah, hidden agenda. This person's hidden agenda, yeah, was to, I guess, uh, manipulate somebody to open their door so that they can get some evidence on somebody to throw somebody up underneath the bus or they already try to throw somebody up underneath the bus you know and they need a place to lay their head or they need a couple of dollars or they need somebody to write letter on them on, you know to the courts or whatever the situation is I feel like somebody's spiritual team is like I think the fuck not like yeah get on before you get spit on yeah whoever's resonating with this message ignore the haters because they definitely will fade away and I feel like the yeah if somebody threw this person under under the bus in some way, shape, form, or fashion, maybe somebody is, that person is fading away. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that person, you know, has disappeared or, you know, that person is not around. And this person, you know, possibly is like, yeah, now I can go towards divine feminine or divine masculine. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like that, yeah. This is April. We're uh, at the end of April. So something didn't work for somebody or something's not working. And maybe that's why, yeah. Somebody, your spiritual security is, is surrounding you. So, yeah, that's not that's why it's not working. But it definitely could be, yeah, an earth sign. You know, that could be trying to get somebody to unblock somebody. Uh, that could be the stalker, you know. Somebody definitely did write letters, but they lied. They told a lot of lies. 
wrote letters to the courts. Confess what they did. So yeah, somebody knows that they lied. Somebody knows that they yeah wrote letters to the courts, and it was nothing but a bunch of lies here. Um, so yeah, there's somebody that possibly wants to confess what they did, but I feel like that whoever this is that wants to confess what they did, they only want to confess because yeah, they think that your door is a revolving door, or you know they 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 think that they you know can get a free ride or get a free pillow to to lay their head on, or you know get a, a free refrigerator to open and close, you know whenever they 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 choose. We have served two masters out here. Whoever's your name with this message, you don't serve two masters. So with that being said, why would you have somebody that serves two masters in your energy? Yeah, so there's a stalker out here, you know, that wants to confess what they did. Because, yeah, they think your door is a revolving door. Yeah, this is a wolf in sheep clothing, but we definitely did see the wolf in sheep clothing card. So yeah, they want to confess that they were being a wolf in sheep clothing. They were they want to confess that yeah, they threw you under under the bus. You know, they want to confess that they did write letters to the courts and it was nothing but a bunch of lies. Uh, yeah. Wow. What else, Holy Spirit? This is crazy. And it's something about, yeah, this month. So these letters, you know, could have surfaced in the courts this month. Or or this month, somebody, you know, um, wrote letters to the court. Yeah, but this is a wolf in sheep clothing. I feel like whoever this is, because this person has like two letters, or it looked like two letters, yeah, one letter could be the letter full of lies, the other letter could be the letter to confess what they did. But I feel like the letter to confess what they did is after they wrote the letter to try to, yeah, implicate somebody or, you know, um, throw somebody up underneath the bus or whatever they did here. Yep, there is somebody that is now facing their inner demons. And so, yeah, that's why somebody's spiritual team is out here. And that's why the Most High is out here. Yeah, I feel like that uh, the letter that somebody wrote, you know, trying to throw somebody up underneath the bus or trying to get somebody to be a first time felon. Yeah, I feel like that it was a lot of fake fraud and phony stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something definitely was caught on camera. So, you know, either the truth could have been caught on camera or these people could have been caught doing something on camera. Or somebody could have been caught doing something on camera. Or, yeah, the stalker, you know, could have uh, could have gotten somebody on camera. You know, and try to use it against somebody. Yeah, there's there there's somebody that's facing their de inner demons. There could be multiple people that could be facing their inner demons, but there is a lot of uh, pointing of fingers going on behind the scenes. Yeah, so with that being said, there there were you know people um, that you know were involved in throwing somebody up underneath the bus. You know, they're definitely. I feel like this buttering you up was a part of was a part of the hidden agenda. Yeah, this hidden agenda is is yeah. I feel like it. it yeah. A mission aborted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mission aborted. The hidden agenda, first of all, it's no longer hidden, but yeah, it had to be aborted. Um, 
Oh, these people are going to find out. Yeah, because I think we have, what, one or two or three more days in April. Uh, so with that being said, before April is over and done with, yeah, somebody's spiritual team is says that the trash will be taken out for them here. So, yeah. So that's the energy that I was picking up as far as, yeah, whoever's resonating with this message, you don't have to do anything. Mm-hmm. Somebody doesn't want you to remember the past. So, yeah, that's the energy that I was picking up on, you know, when it comes to the past or, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that whatever was done in the past, uh, I feel like that the only reason why it, it keeps being, you know, in the present is because whoever this person or these people are, they keep it in the present. The past is supposed to be kept in the past, but I feel like because people are stuck in the past or, you know what I'm saying, keep doing, you know same things or you know they're the same habits or you know what i'm saying continuing to serve two masters or continue yeah uh continue to do the same thing over and over and over getting the same results that's why the past is 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 in the present here but yeah there's somebody that doesn't want you to remember the past and so there definitely could be something that somebody uh whoever this person is that thinks that your door is a revolving door this wolf in sheep clothing they done something in the past to whoever's resonating with this message and they don't want you to remember or you know what i'm saying they don't want you to remember you know how they threw you up underneath the bus in the past or you know what i'm saying how they left you out in the cold or how you know they lied to you lied to their family about you or you know whatever the situation is mm-hmm whoever this person is or these people are they're definitely being watched this wolf in sheep clothing is being watched. Um, the Leo Aries Sagittarius is being watched. But it's something about, yeah, you being watched in the past. So with that being said, yeah, uh, somebody doesn't want you to remember that they were being a stalker in the past and they're still a stalker now. Somebody doesn't want you to remember, you know, um, yeah, something about being watched in the past. So be aware. But there is somebody that is being watched. This could be being watched as far as, yeah, caught on camera. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody did caught, catch something on camera, whether you know it or not. You know what I mean? And maybe it's something that you did do in the past. And, yeah, somebody definitely could have tried to throw you up underneath the bus or use it against you. And I feel like it backfired. But maybe somebody doesn't want you to remember something from the past because maybe you can speak some type of truth. And, yeah, it could cause somebody to be a first-time felon. Either way it goes, we saw the card. It's time for somebody to speak up for themselves. Yeah, somebody's trying to cause a diversion. So that's the energy that I was picking up as well. So be aware of, yeah, somebody trying to come in, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, trying to butter you up, you know, let me take you out to dinner, you know, let me do this, let me do that. Whoever this person is, they are a stalker. And they're stalking because, yeah, they, they don't want to be a first-time felon. Or they don't want you to remember something from the past because I feel like, yeah, it's going to make... Yeah, it's, it's like the missing piece of the puzzle. We have Aquarius Pisces Cusper, so there's Aquarius Pisces Cusper that's involved. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a lot of people that could be trying to cause some type of diversion here. But yeah, again, ignore the haters because they will fade away. And yeah, that's how we started out with with, with games. So yeah, there's a lot of people out here that's, that's playing mind games. Be aware of, yeah, somebody, you know, trying to get you to unblock them because they want to play mind games but the trash will be taken out for you whoever you know yeah whoever thought that they were going to get to continue to play these mind games with whoever does name with this message yeah your spiritual team said yeah no uh uh don't think so Yeah, we got sudden outburst here. So somebody definitely could have some type of sudden outburst. This could be, you know, in the court. Um, you know, this could be just amongst, you know, people because we do have pointing fingers here. But somebody definitely could have, yeah, some type of sudden outburst here. Because, yeah, boomerang. So, again, whatever hidden agenda, uh, yeah, that these people were trying to, you know, bring forth or whatever mission that they were trying to accomplish yeah it didn't work it didn't work and there is some type of boomerang effect so yeah these people definitely could have tried to get you involved or put your name in some type of money making scheme 
Um, be aware of, yeah, people trying to get you to, you know what I'm saying, make an irrational decision to get involved with some type of, some type of money-making scheme here. I feel like that these people are being watched because of some type of money-making scheme. I feel like that these people, yeah, were trying to get you to be watched. You possibly were being watched because these people, you know, try to throw you up underneath the bus or trying to, yeah, make you the guilty party and, and, though, and they be the innocent ones. Yeah. Wow. I'm also picking up too. Yeah, there's a there is definitely a lot of people that's watching in secret. So yeah, stalker alerts. So be aware, but there is definitely people that are recalling past events. So these people didn't want you to remember the past, but they keep recalling past events and I feel like it's it 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 has something to do with you. So these people were trying to use your past, you know what I'm saying, to to gain or to, you know what I'm saying, to get a one up or, you know what I'm saying, to throw you up underneath the bus so that they wouldn't be looked at or so they wouldn't be watched or something like that. But yeah, boomerang. I'm also picking up too, yeah, people were trying to manipulate people, you know, playing mind games, manipulating people to believe, you know, that you're, you know, this low down dirty shame or, you know what I'm saying, that uh, you serve two masters or that you're fake fraud and phony or, you know what I'm saying, that you're, you know, a scammer or you like to be involved with money making schemes, you know, uh, whatever the situation is, yeah. I feel like that people are, uh, people know that these people are liars. People know that you're a big deal. People know that you're, yeah, you you about what you be talking about. People people know that you stand on business. So yeah, continue to be bold. Wow, we have this at the bottom of the deck. So that could take place. That could be, you know, what the ignore the haters they will fade away means. Yep. And there is there is people that definitely are worried because of your silence. So whoever's resonating with this message, you could be uh, moving in silence here. There definitely could be, yeah, somebody that could be stalking you or getting people to watch you because you're silent. Yeah. Be aware because somebody possibly does want to come in to apologize here, but it's I feel like it's the person that thinks that your door is a revolving door. So, again, be aware. But there, yeah, somebody's worried because of your silence. Yeah, we got a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So, yeah, there's their Earth sign. So, there's an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They possibly could want to apologize. Uh, I feel like that there could be multiple people that could want to apologize. Um, there's Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper. There's a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, all watching in secret, you know, possibly wanting to apologize. But I feel like that, yeah, whoever these people are, they think that your door is a revolving door. So they think that, um, you know, if they apologize and everything will just go back to the way it used to be. I feel like that you, yeah, you've already gotten these people out of your energy or you already stopped dealing with these people. Yeah, these people are worried because of your silence. So evidently, yeah, you're silent for a reason. You're not communicating with these people for a reason. You have these people blocked out for a reason. Yep. And these people have been abandoned by their spiritual team. So while your spiritual team is out, out here, you know what I'm saying, um, protecting you, while your spiritual security, you know, got your back, yeah, these people have been abandoned by their spiritual team. That's another reason why somebody wants uh, you to unblock them. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely could be messing, trying to mess with your crown chakra. But it's something about, yeah, your knowledge, you know what I'm saying? You're very woke. Consciousness. Yeah. And you definitely are a spiritual being, but it's something about, yeah, somebody somebody is thinking a bit hard as to how to, yeah, get you to open that door, how to get to the door, or how to get past your spiritual security to get, you know. Mm -hmm. We got mental health facility here, so somebody could be going to a mental health facility. The fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody possibly could have tried to, you know, figure out every way possible to get whoever's resonating with this message um, to go to a mental health facility here. I feel like the people, yeah, were pulling out all the stops. That's how we started out the message, playing games, you know, doing whatever they could do, you know. The fact of the matter is, yeah. 
when it comes to these people trying to put some type of responsibility on you, you know, whether it be, you know, responsible for committing a crime or responsible, you know, for something, you know, that took place that you didn't have anything to do with. Yeah, you're not financially responsible um, for anything that these people got going on. You know, these people chose to get involved in this money making scheme. These people chose and whatever this money making scheme is, I feel like it was it was a scam people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're not fully, you're not res financially responsible for anything that these people have going on. You're not responsible, period, for anything that these people have going on. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, uh, people that need to know know, you know, and those that didn't know, they know now that yeah, somebody's a liar. Yeah, liar, liar, pants on fire. So yeah, we got a Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper, that's a liar. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that's a liar. A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that's a liar. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoever's resonating with this message, uh, keep it near to the ground because I feel like that you are going to receive some type of information and it definitely does have something to do with, yeah, your haters fading away. Um, and also be aware because, yeah, there's somebody that wants pity here. I feel like it's whoever this is that thinks your door is a revolving door. I feel like whoever these people are, yeah, they know what they've done. And, and yeah, somebody can no longer hold it in. And so maybe that's the person that, yeah, wants to confess what they did here. And it's something about, yeah, writing letters to the courts. So, yeah, somebody or some people wrote letters to the courts. Uh, again, I feel like that, that a letter that they wrote was full of nothing but lies, full of nothing but, yeah, false accusations. Um, I feel like that, yeah, you have people blocked out. You don't deal with these people. But these people definitely, um, yeah, were basically lied and said that you was all up in the mix. There is somebody that's trying to cause a diversion. Somebody definitely could have tried to use you as a diversion. So be aware. I feel like that, yeah, those that need to know because the courthouse came out. So the courts know now what's going on. And it could be because somebody has already confessed to what they did and possibly, yeah, uh, through the, the people that they, you know, that were involved underneath the bus. So somebody, yeah, told on everybody else. So, yeah, I feel like that whatever you've been manifesting, it's coming to fruition. Um, there is somebody or some people that are worried because of your silence, but oh well, um, at the end of the day, whatever these people were doing, it, it didn't have anything to do with you. I feel like that these people had a hidden agenda and yeah, um, it backfired. So with that being said, yeah, you're a big deal, you know, so continue to be bold. Your spiritual security team is definitely surrounding you. And so anybody that thinks that they're going to infiltrate your energy, they got to go through through your spiritual team, your spiritual security. So with that being said, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.